first step in uh, growing a batch of microgreens actually starts with uh, getting a tray and putting soil in it. Uh, it's, uh, I call it prepping trays, it's the terminology I've used over the years. So what we want to do is we want to basically put soil in this tray. And I'm saying it kind of flippantly because really that's all we're doing. But there are certain things that you do that can actually change the quality of the soil and the quality of your, of your rooting area. Um, if I literally just sort of put soil in there and didn't think about what, how I was doing it, um, it would be hard to determine uh, how my soil is affecting growth. So when we take a look at this process, there's a few things I'm going to cover here that I think are very, very important to, to, to consider with every uh, tray that you sow. This can't be something you rush through and, and don't do well. If you don't have a good rooting environment, you can't have a good crop. You have only an inch of soil, so this soil needs to be prepared really, really well to have a good crop. Okay. So, we're going to take me out of the picture for a bit here, just so you can kind of look and take a look how I'm going to prep this tray. Uh, this seems a bit silly, but it is, is quite important. So, I'm doing this on my kitchen table. You may or may not be allowed to do this in your own home. Um, <laughs> it is what it is. Uh, so first, the most important thing actually to start with is the, the moisture level in your soil. Um, if you've worked with peat a lot and, and when it's really dry, you know it kind of gets dusty, it, it gets up into the air really easily, and it can actually get in your eyes and sting quite badly. So um, you need a, a, the right amount of moisture in your soil for, for sowing your tray. So my, my mixture as it is right now, it's got a bit of moisture in there, but it's fairly dry. You can see as I, as, I, as I lift it up and I drop it, it falls really easily. You don't see any dust coming up. Um, you know, you don't see fibers all over the place. So I can smell it as I move it around, so I get a sense of it being in the air. But I don't get this sort of dust that you would get with something really dry. So this, is, this has got a bit of moisture in it. But I know from experience it's not quite enough. So this is like a, a sponge that I've wrung out and then I've let sit for a little while. So I can tell there's moisture in it, but I can't really pull any moisture out of it. It's just, I can just tell. So the trick is to have a bit of moisture in there. Um, and one thing we didn't put on our supply list was a watering can, so I'll add that. Add $10 to your budget. Um, and yeah, there's lots of ways you can do this, but I'm just gonna put in a little bit of water at a time. I just wanted enough in there, so I've got just the soil sticking together just a little bit. So I'm going to mix it up in my tub here. And there's, there's a couple reasons. So one that I mentioned is that when I'm working with it, I really, really don't want it to be kind of getting all dusty and flying up into my eyes. Uh, it's, it's actually quite painful. And so that sort of really is, is the sort of safety aspect of this. The next aspect is even though we talk in, in farming about the importance of not compacting your soil, we're going to put this into, this into the tray quite compacted. And so we need it to have a good amount of moisture in there. So I've mixed it up pretty good. I can see it's darkening up really well here. And same thing. I'm going to drop this. You can see, same thing. It's falling really easily, but it's sticking to my hands a little more. Um, I can see the moisture in there more. But it's still not wet. I couldn't, no matter how hard I squeeze, I could not squeeze any water out, there, out of there. There's no way. So when you think about how moist you want this soil, yeah, enough that you can tell it's, it's quite moist, but you shouldn't be able to squeeze water. Or if you squeeze really hard, you can get the tiniest drop out of there. As you squeeze it together, it'll kind of stick together, but then it still crumbles apart fairly easily. If you're squeezing it really hard and your water's coming through your fingers or squeezing out, you've got too much water in there, and what you can do is just add a little bit of dry soil to that. So that makes it quite simple. So now I'm going to prep my tray. There's a couple things I do, and generally I, I will do this outside, but it's dark out and it's a little cold, and uh, I kind of like working in my kitchen. So I'm going to do it here just to show you a few things that I do to make sure I'm getting a really, really good uh, uh, tray set here. So one of the tricks, and I'm doing this a little slowly, if I was doing lots of trays, I would just dump the whole thing out. One of the tricks is to have way more soil than I'm actually going to need. I already know all the soil I'm putting out is not going to fit in this tray. So I always pile it up. There's 
always more. And this is because as I push it down, I'm not trying to get the level right here, right away to start with. I want to make sure I'm filling all those gaps with soil. What I'm thinking about right now is my soil's water holding capacity. And the more soil I have in here, without making it too moist and too compact to begin with, the more soil I'm going to have to hold water. So I've got lots of soil on top, and I'm pushing it down with my fingers, and I'm getting into the edges, the corners, and on top here. I'm going to move this around a bit, push it down a bit more. And so I know this feels really firm. It doesn't feel super compact because I know it's a loose soil, but I know things are in there, um, things are packed in there really good. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring it down to level. Uh, and what I'm basically going to do is I'm just going to rub the top here, make sure I get it off my edges, and I'm basically looking to get a flat surface. Now, a couple thoughts on this. In, in a commercial production where you have stacks and stacks of these um, trays, the level surface is quite important because without a level surface, uh, the trays don't stack very well and they can topple a little more easily. The other thing is, if this is a bit mounded on the top, what's going to happen is you'll have good contact with the seed in the soil here, but on the edges, um, once we have pressure on top, the seed won't be pressed into the soil very well and so you won't get good germination. So I really, really push towards having a nice level tray of soil. So I do it nice and level. It's a rock in there, it's very rare. Do that nice and level. I clean off the edges just because I like it to look nice and neat. And there I've got my tray. I've got a little bit of bump in there, but it's fairly, it's fairly smooth. So this is my tray. You can see I've got all this soil. I've got another tray's worth of soil here, but as I said, you need a lot of excess. So there's my tray. Fairly level. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. It's nice and even. So now when I'm seeding, I know I have a nice flat surface to put my soil on, and then when I put another tray on top and put pressure on, because that's how we're going to germinate it, I'm going to get really good contact with the seed in the soil, and that is absolutely crucial uh, in terms of getting good germination and getting a good crop. So that really is the basics of, of just prepping this tray. So this tray is ready to sow. And sometimes what I'll do is I'll, I'll prep some of these. If I'm doing commercial production, I'll prep hundreds of these at a time. Uh, that way I do it on a big space and can do it really, really efficiently. Uh, here I'm just going to pre prep what I need, either one or two at a time. And usually I'll, I'll prep just before sowing. Whereas in commercial production, I'll, I'll do tray prep on one day and my sowing on another. Uh, just because you can only do so many tasks in a day and it's a good, a good way to break things up. So this tray is ready to go. And as we move forward with the different steps, the next step will be looking at uh, sowing, uh, soaking and sowing our seeds.